Thank you for taking the time to watch the Allegro tutorial. The GSI Allegro is a multifunction screening device that offers tympanometry and reflex screening. The Allegro includes everything needed to perform testing and manage patient data. The charging cradle connects to the included printer or to a computer. The Allegro is compatible with GSI Suite for electronic management of screening data and includes the TempView software for simple PDF reporting. This handheld device can be easily moved from facility to facility using the included carrying case. The Allegro handheld instrument consists of four navigation buttons and a power button. The LED screen displays testing information as well as information that is accessed in the menu for setting defaults. Press the power button to turn on the Allegro. There will be a short diagnostic check and the pump will engage. The up and down navigation buttons are used to scroll through the menus or set values. The right navigation is used to move to the next step in a test protocol and to accept menu choices. The left navigation button is used to return to a previous step or cancel an operation. The Allegro Cradle is used for charging the instrument as well as for printing and transferring test results. There are two LED indicator lights that will show the status of the connection. When the power LED on the cradle is green, power is applied to the cradle. The green LED on the device indicates the Allegro battery is charging. The Allegro LED will turn off when the instrument is removed from the cradle or not placed correctly. The Allegro has a default protocol that includes a 226 Hz tympanogram and a 1000 Hz reflex test. It is possible to change the protocol by entering the configuration menu and following the on-screen instructions to make selections. Follow your facility's guidelines for screening procedures. It is recommended that before testing, a daily check is performed. To perform a daily check, turn the Allegro power on and use the navigation buttons to scroll to and select Daily Check. When the message Insert Probe is displayed on the screen, insert the probe without an ear tip into the two milliliter test cavity. Make sure that the probe is inserted until it is flush with the cavity casing. The display should indicate the volume measured and should be at or within 0.1 milliliters of two milliliters. Repeat this with the other test cavities. When the checks are complete, press the left arrow to return to the main menu. Before performing tympanometry, inform the patient what to expect from the evaluation. Explain that you are going to evaluate the way their eardrum moves. They will hear a low tone, feel pressure in their ear canal, and they do not need to respond in any way. The test will only take a few seconds and all they have to do is sit quietly. If you are texting reflexes, let the patient know that in addition to the low tone, there will be some brief beeps. They do not need to respond to the beeps, but just sit quietly until the evaluation is complete. Examine the ear canal to determine the appropriately sized ear tip and place it on the end of the Allegra probe. Make sure that the ear tip is pushed all the way down to the casing of the probe. From the main menu, select New Test. Select the ear or ears to be tested. The Allegro provides visual prompts during each step in the test process. The first message is Insert Probe. At that time, you will insert the probe into the opening of the ear canal to obtain an airtight seal and hold the Allegro at that position for the entire test. Keep your eye on the display screen as additional messages will inform you of the status of the evaluation. These include equalizing pressure, pressure settling, seal obtained, taking tympanogram, and if selected, seeking ipsy reflex. When the measurement is complete, you will be prompted to withdraw the probe and the tympanogram will be displayed. Review the tympanogram and press the right button to accept it. If the reflex test was performed, the results will be displayed. Use the up and down buttons to view the results for each of the reflex tone levels used. If the reflex test was performed at more than one frequency, use the up and down buttons to view the results for the additional frequencies. If the Allegro was set to test for a reflex at all levels of the stimulus, press the right button to view a summary of the levels and frequencies at which a reflex was detected. 
It is possible to press the left button to return and view the tympanogram, the reflex results, or to repeat the test. When satisfied with all of the results, press the right button. If test both ears was selected at the beginning of the evaluation, you will be prompted to insert the probe into the other ear and the entire sequence will be repeated. When the test is completed and the results are accepted, the process results menu will be displayed. From here, it is possible to print or save the results, view the test again, or return to the main menu. Please note that the results the last test performed remain available even if the Allegro has been turned off. However, the results of the last test will be erased as soon as a new test is started. Test results should be saved to the internal database or printed to ensure that data is not lost. Before attempting to print, ensure that the printer is fully charged, switched on, loaded with paper, and physically connected to the cradle with the printer serial cable. Place the Allegro into the cradle when you are ready to print. To print results of the last test performed, select Send to Printer from the Process Results menu. Press the right button when prompted on the screen. To transfer the data from the Allegro to a computer, the results must be saved to the internal database on the Allegro. The Allegro will hold up to 32 patient records. To save the results of a test, select Save Results from the Process Results menu that is displayed on completion of a test. A three-character identifier is used for the record. This is also used as the reference for the patient's name on the printed record and for data transferred to a computer. To enter the identifier, use all four navigation buttons to select the characters. Press briefly and hold the right button to enter a character. Press and hold the left button to delete the last character. When all three characters have been selected, press and hold the right button to save the record. Use the data management option in the main menu to view and manage saved records. The GSI Allegro is not designated as a sterile device. Non-disposable parts of the system need to be disinfected between patients. This includes physically wiping down the parts that come into contact with the patient by using a disinfectant approved by your facility. Use of a non-alcohol-based disinfectant is recommended. Non-alcohol-based products which contain the active ingredient referred to as quaternary ammonia compound or a hydrogen peroxide-based cleaner may be used. Both disinfectants are specifically designed to disinfect rubber, plastic, silicone, and acrylic products which are commonly used in hearing evaluation instruments. This concludes the Allegro tutorial. If additional questions arise, please consult the user manual, contact your local distributor, or contact GSI.